Karmic is a new lightweight electronic bike for commuters. It's priced at what you would expect for a nice road bike, but offers a much faster and easier ride. I met with the founder and took a test ride for myself to learn more. Tell me about how you got into electronic bikes. So I've been a cyclist my whole life, but I tried an e-bike last year and it kind of just blew my mind. It was so fast, it was so fun. And I wanted one, but I had like 15 bikes and my wife said I couldn't buy it. Plus it was $6,000. Oh wow. So it's not like a purchase that you can just make. Um, and I kept thinking about it, thinking about it. And I was like, we can build a better e-bike for a kind of a more affordable price point. Right. And that's what I've been working on for the last six months. Over the last few years, we've seen this sort of explosion of electronic bikes come out into the market. Uh, what's unique about this one? So this one is our top of the line bike. It's aircraft aluminum frame, super lightweight. Uh, it's got carbon parts everywhere. It's got really nice Chris King wheel sets. Um, the goal is to make a really light and enjoyable bike. Um, we've actually weighed this particular bike right here, as you see it, at 30 pounds, which is unheard of in the industry. Everybody's e-bikes are like 40, 50, 60 pounds. The first e-bike batteries were 36 pounds, just the battery. Right. And so now, even on our base bike, we're way under 36 pounds for a complete bike. Right. And no one else can do that. This battery is, it looks like it's detachable. Yes. Um, why was that important? So uh, we went back and forth a lot on detachable or in-mounted in batteries. Uh, I think detachable is important for us for two reasons. One is, as a city bike, not everybody has the luxury of like riding up into a garage and just kind of leaving the bike there. If you have to bring the bike up and down, or if you can leave your bike downstairs but you want to charge the battery, you'd have to take it out. Uh, and if we put it in the frame, it's almost impossible for a user to, to take it out. And then we use a compression technology instead of welding packs, which is what everybody else does. Uh, our compression technology actually allows you to recycle the battery, fully recycle the battery, in kind of three, five years when it starts holding less of a charge. Mm -hmm. So that is the best part about the bike. Um, the second thing about the motor is we use a mid-drive motor. We put the motor there because that's the lowest center of gravity. It's also, it gives you a good handling, good balance. Okay, and um, the display, anything unique about this guy? The display gives you your speed, your battery, and um, your mileage and things like that. This is pedal assist, right? So it's not just gonna, you're not just gonna take off on it. Yeah, so the early generation e-bikes were more akin to scooters. So you have this throttle, you can just peg it, you don't have to pedal. For me, that's not really a bike. Uh, for us, pedal assist is the only way to go. User selectable uh, PAS, which is pedal assist level. Right now on the bikes, we can ship them with one to three, or you can configure it to one to five, or even for a cyclist who wants more kind of fine gradients between their levels, uh, we can go one to nine, which essentially for us is a nine speed electronic bike. And how much of a difference is that? Like how much torque does like one to, does being on the three level get you? Right, the motors are rated at 350 watts which is equivalent to kind of what a professional cyclist puts out. So you can think about like always having like a professional cyclist pedaling the bike for you in addition to your own power. Um, the other thing is too, we're toying with the idea of selling a Karmic kit, which is the essentials of what our bike is. Uh, if you already have a bike that you love and you're really comfortable with it and it works great, you have emotional connection to it, um, you can just electrify your existing bike. 